Hi. I can't re really remember all that much when there was a really serious disturbance on the demonstration that turned into a proper full-blown riot. Guess we'd have to cast our minds back to the impressive Black Block rampage during the TUC march in central London, March 2011. The latest set of huge Palestinian solidarity demonstrations have, in some quarters, caused outrage, but there's been a noticeable lack of violence. It's the slogans, individually made placards, that provide and cause the upset. Mind you, reading the newspapers, listening to the conservative commentators of the right-wing TV channels, you'd think that rampaging mobs have been burning, looting, clashing violently with the police, creating general mayhem. Even so, Sunak, as advised by one Lord Woolney, may be considering the banning of face coverings and masks on demonstrations. The police already have the powers to ask individuals to remove face coverings, so really, if implemented, this would represent an attempt to curb protest and expression and bring in further restrictions and the road to banning protest altogether. People wear masks and coverings for the obvious reason they don't wish to be identified and may have perfectly legitimate reasons for doing so to protect identification by hostile forces such as bosses, landlords and those opponents who would subject a person to harassment or violence. The only way to bypass any such prohibitions is mass defiance. Maybe if everyone wore anti-Covid masks, the authorities would be too flummoxed to do anything. For those who have the anger and desire to riot, the best thing to do, apart from being masked up, is to take to the streets at night. So, in reverse of that old government slogan of the 1960s, don't wear something light at night. The government have long feared any forthcoming civil disturbances, and mask wearing hardly comes into it really, as do relatively harmless mass demonstrations in central London. Bye.